Hello everybody and welcome back yet again to Path to Platinum, the series where unlocking trophies is easier than taking baby away from candy. Today we will be covering the oh so beloved Modern Warfare franchise, or more specifically, Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered. Now this time around the trophy list is actually noticeably different from the PS3 version with quite a few new additions and challenges but before we get into those I'd just like to quickly say if you guys enjoy this video or it helped you out be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to support me and stay up to date with my content. It would mean a lot. Secondly, if you guys are interested, I livestream every week, so consider stopping by to check it out. If it's not your cup of tea, then don't mind me, moving on. Now that that's out of the way, we could get straight into the video and start earning you guys some well-deserved trophies leading up to that juicy platinum. Let's get it. So first we're going to start off with all the intel in order, and once we've nabbed all those, we'll tackle all the remaining miscellaneous trophies for the later half of the video, and that's how this guide is going to play out. If you want to jump to a specific intel location or trophy analysis, then feel free to use the timestamp navigation tool in the description below the video to get help right away. However, to those in it for the long haul, then you're stuck with me and my colorful commentary until the intel is out of the way. Now, because I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, I actually decided to get all the intel in the game on my veteran run because I was looking to just save the most amount of time as possible. So I just started my first playthrough on veteran, especially because I'm comfortable with this game. I've played it before. Um, I actually played the through the PS3 version and platinumed it. Uh, just last year in 2019, so it wasn't that long ago. The game's still very fresh in my mind, and I felt I was ready to tackle Veteran right off the bat. Um, and I heard that you could beat Veteran in this game by utilizing this uh, very specific and demanding glitch. It has very specific requirements in order to uh, utilize it. And I looked it up and I was like, yeah, th this is nice for people who want to like really go for the maximum cheese, but... Like I said, I've played through Veteran before, I felt like it's something I'm familiar with, and I've definitely done it twice, actually, in my life, uh, prior to playing it on the remastered version here, so I figured, hey, why not go through it again legit, I'm too lazy to actually, like, try to get this glitch to work and stress over it, so, I was like, fuck it, I'm j I'll just play it legit, and, um, yeah, so I went through my first playthrough on Veteran, and I grabbed all the intel on veterans, so you're definitely gonna see moments uh, while I'm picking up the intel, like actually going to grab it. You'll see there are moments, see like right there, um, actually right here, I just immediately die. So, <laughs> because it's on veteran, but, oh well, you know what, I would recommend that you guys don't do that, but again, I, I just wanted to save time, so I didn't want to grab the intel on a separate playthrough. But hey, if you guys want to do the same thing, that's completely up to you. Your call. Just letting you know, though, it's very stressful. Uh, when you're playing veteran, you you really don't want to be worrying about anything else other than just getting through it. Because it's so goddamn uh, challenging. But, um... I, I'm a stupid asshole. What can I say? Uh, I decided to multitask and made it that much harder on myself. Don't be me! But, I mean, if you want to, then... By all means, follow in my shitty footsteps, but uh, I'm ad just let it be known, I'm advising you not to, because it's the smarter choice, but it's up to you. But, um, yeah, another uh, important fact about the intel, speaking of uh, almost dying every time I try to pick one up, is that as long as you actually pick up the intel and then you see the little text come on the screen be all like, you got bloody intel 45 out of 76 or some shit. Uh, like that right there, like when you see the text come up. You have the intel permanently, and even if you die or restart checkpoint or, or save and quit back out of the level, you could you could rip the, the power cord out of your PS4, and it would not matter. Your ass is keeping that intel forever. It's, you, it's permanent. When you pick it up, there's no stopping it. It's, it's destiny. But, uh, yeah, so as long as you actually pick up the intel, you have nothing to worry about. So, uh, yeah, which is pretty great. It uh, removes a lot of the stress. But, um, 
there is a fair amount of intel in this game and it does take a while to grab it all as you can see 14 out of 45 we're we're gonna be here a while but um don't worry i'll be showing you where it all is so no worries there and uh if you ever get confused as to like where i am in the video because i know the clips where i actually pick up the intel i don't show all that much of like my surroundings or where I am so it might be hard to tell where exactly in the level uh, the Intel is from watching the footage if that's the case uh, just use little minor tricks to uh, to figure out where it is I am in the map like for example when you see the objective marker like where it says support over on uh, McTavish over there uh, that's how you know like you're still on the beaded path like I'm not too far out of the way you don't have to go uh, so far exploring into the unknown where you would actually like lose sense of where you are That's never the case. So just always make sure you pay attention to stuff like that and you'll be able to figure out Where it is exactly that you are so no worries there No harm done uh, See like here for example, this is a perfect example You may be like where the fuck am I in this level? But uh, this is just that uh, that house just to the left of the street the honey badger uh, goes down during Exodus. It's it's really not that hard to figure it out. You you can do it. I believe in you guys. You can watch this footage and figure it out. You're smarticle, right? Right? That it took me forever to get into that room. I must have died like four or five times before I actually made it in there. Uh, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Uh, this this level in general, I I died quite a lot during veteran, but um. Speaking of veteran, there was only one, there's only one level that is like true cancer, and that's uh, Loose Ends, which is like one of the final levels in the game. I think it's the fourth last level, but uh, if memory serves. But yeah, um, veteran, honestly, it's not, it's not impossible. There are other Call of Duty games that have a way harder veteran difficulty than this game, like in comparison. But, you know, that's not to... That's not to say that, like, oh, well, Veteran's easy. It never is. Veteran is always a bitch in every single Call of Duty game. There's no getting around that fact, so, uh, you're definitely in for a struggle. Uh, you know, I'm not to make light of the situation. You, uh, you best gear up, because it's gonna be rough. Unless you want to use the glitch, and the, by all means. Um, I think... I, I, I'll see if I can remember the glitch just from memory. But I don't actually remember if I know exactly how to do it. But I'll, I'll, I'll see if I remember. So what you want to do, right? You um, you start a level on recruit difficulty. And then you go all the way through it. You get to the last checkpoint in a level. So you get all the way to the end of the level until you know... You, this requires you to be somewhat familiar with the levels. So you have to know when the last checkpoint is. Obviously, if you're playing this for the first time, you're going to need to follow a walkthrough. Because you would probably just finish the level accidentally without realizing that you were going to. So, uh, there's the Unnecessary Roughness Trophy. I didn't actually, like, dedicate time to showing how to get that trophy. Because it's literally just kill an enemy with a riot shield. It's You couldn't get more straightforward than that. Trophy says what to do, just do it. There's plenty of riot shields and plenty of the levels, so... There you go. But anyways, um, yeah, so... You're going to need to know when the last checkpoint is in every level. And, yeah, so what you're going to want to do is get through the entire level on recruit difficulty. And then once you reach that last checkpoint, you want to um, pause the game. And then you save and quit. Go back to main menu. And then you go to... You go to... Uh... Fuck, I'm trying to remember how to do it. You need to, like, change the difficulty back to veteran and then start the level again from your checkpoint so you would hit resume game uh once you've changed the difficulty and then uh and then you fucking you uh close application while the level's loading and then once you do that the game uh, you essentially trick the game into thinking that you were playing on veteran the whole time or some shit like that i probably didn't explain it properly but yeah, and then when you reboot up the game and get back in the level, you'll be on Veteran at the last checkpoint, and supposedly that counts as playing the entire level on Veteran, even though you played 90% of it on Recruit. You're, you're, you're probably going to want to look that up, because I, I most likely didn't explain it properly, but 
as you can see, you know, you gotta be really careful when you're doing that, because if you fuck it up, uh, you could easily mess that up for yourself and just not do it. So that's why, you know, I, I looked up the glitch because I was curious. I just wanted to see if it was, like, super easy. Because I'm all for exploiting uh, cheap bullshit to get trophies. Like, uh, you definitely get my seal of approval for doing that. Like, I don't give a shit about the honor code. Like, if you want to cheese your way through a trophy, by all means. Trophies are bullshit 90% of the time in most video games. There's always these really filthy, scumbag, degenerate trophies that require you to piss your life away in order to get them. And I've done that umpteen times, more times than I can count. So I am all for cheesing your way through trophies. Power to you if you want to do that. Um, but again, I felt like I was in my element here. I was like, you know, I've already went through veteran difficulty twice. Uh, I could do it a third time. Why not? And I was also here in... Um, I was, before I actually bought the game, I was, I was reading all these posts about, um, like, reviews and shit. And they were saying that, I, I was reading a bunch of shit saying that, oh, veteran difficulty in Campaign Remastered is easier than it was back on PS3. And I'm just like, that's interesting, I wonder if that's true. And then I get through the whole game and I'm like, no, I literally don't see a fucking difference. Like, that's, that's a load of shit. There's no way that's true. Veteran seemed just as difficult and annoying as it was on PS3, so I'm not buying it. I don't know if it's factually true, but I, if it is, th the difference is so minuscule that it honestly hardly matters. Uh, I, I had just as much of a rough time as I always did going through um, the campaign on Veteran, but uh, that's all the intel and loose ends. And uh, we, all, we almost got them all. We're almost done. I'm almost done speaking about random nonsense. I'm, I'm killing time, which is great. That's wonderful. You're doing good, Matt. Uh, and you guys are doing great, too. You're at 39 Intel already. We're almost there. So once we get all that, we're, uh, like I said, we're going to go over the miscellaneous trophies. And don't worry, my, my commentary won't be as nonsensical for that. I'll definitely be explaining things properly and taking the time to make sure you guys understand exactly how to get said trophies. So, that's what these videos are all about, you know? I put a lot of work and effort, I put my heart and soul into these videos, and I hope you guys enjoy them. I hope that they help you guys out. Because uh, that's what it's all about. That's why I'm doing it. But, uh, yeah, same goes with this video. This took a while to make. Uh, they all do. But, um... I'm I'm hoping that that changes in the future. I'm 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 working some shit out. I got some big plans, and hopefully, hopefully things uh, look up for dear old Matt and his uh, guide making hobbies. But uh, yeah, and you know what? I'm I'm gonna throw this out there. If if you guys are interested, you should you should check out the other videos on my channel. Like for example, I live stream all the time, and I also make some. Sometimes I do some stream highlight videos, so if you don't want to watch the whole stream, which obviously a lot of people wouldn't, uh, you know, I got stream highlight videos where you could just see the funny bits, and then, you know, stuff like that. I feel like it's good for advertising myself, right? Making stream highlight videos, I see all the popular streamers do it, so why not me? Uh, you know, but, um, just throwing that out there. And, uh, hopefully we can make some more of those, because I feel like I don't have enough of them. But there we go, the last intel in the game! Endgame is the last level, and the, and the last intel in the game is right at the beginning of the level. So there you go, your trophy should pop very, very soon after that, and here we go. So the first miscellaneous trophy we're going to cover is Knock Knock, and you do this in the only easy day was yesterday. Uh, there are levels with other breach segments, but this is the first real breach segment you're going to come up to. And it just requires you to kill four enemies with one bullet each, so just aim for their heads. Uh, this is incredibly easy to do because the breach happens in slow-mo. And uh, play on Recruit because, hey, just makes it that much easier. In case you miss his head, uh, if you're playing on Redu Recruit difficulty, you'll probably still kill him in one shot, so it's all good. Next trophy, the harder they fall. So, kill two repelling enemies in a row before they land on their feet. Fucking, what level was this? Right, so this could be done in Second Sun. And you'll have the helicopter show up right at the beginning here. Now, this part's important, because enemies are going to start repelling, and you're going to want to take them out as quickly as possible. You'll have time to shoot this first guy, and as you can see, he fell off the rope, so I clearly shot him there. 
But the tricky part is that Sergeant Foley, he's going to be like, uh, Ramirez, last mag, make it count. He's literally going to say that word for word. And then he's going to toss a mag at you. And this is going to cause your character to automatically reload. You cannot control this. It's going to happen. So you're going to want to kill this first guy right before he throws the mag at you. He's going to throw the mag at you, as you can see. You'll be forced to reload, and then you have just enough time to take out the last guy before he hits the bottom. As you can see, he did fall, plummet to his death. So that's how you do that one. Next trophy, threesome. This can be done in the same level, second son. This is at the literally the last fight in the level. Uh, you'll come up to this part where Foley's going to go, start! He's going to try and figure out who the fuck these guys are. Um, but just before that happens, they all group up perfectly. They're all standing right next to each other. And your gun, the gun you start the level with, has a grenade launcher on it. So you could just fire around, get three kills. Easy peasy. Next one, some like it hot. This can be done in Wolverines to kill six enemies in a row using a thermal weapon. So once you get uh, to a certain point in this level, uh, Foley's going to be... He's gonna be all like, Ramirez, get to the roof, check out the supply drop, and then you'll find these thermal weapons. The roof is like littered with thermal weapons, I'm pretty sure. But uh, just pick one of them up, and then once the waves of enemies start showing up, you can easily get six kills in a row. As you can see, this is very straightforward, very easily done, but uh, I included it in the video because in case you guys were wondering where the fuck to find thermal weapons, there you go. 10 plus foot mobiles this is also done in wolverines this is uh a little ways after that section you were just seeing me do uh once you get to the roof of burger town you the, the mission and objective will force you to go to burger town at some point and when you do these massive waves of enemies will start spawning this is after you've picked up the predator missile uh and you could just start calling them in as you can see you have uh, a couple opportunities to get more than 10 kills with one predator so there you go. Very easy. You just got to make sure you do it at the right time. But uh, next trophy is going to be drive-by. Kill, yeah, kill 20 enemies in a row while driving a vehicle. This is very easily done in the last level in the game because you're driving the speedboat and you could shoot while you're driving. Um, I would highly recommend doing this in this level because it's very easy to do. Uh, it just takes a while. So kill as many enemies on the boats as you can at this part. And then what I like to do is just restart checkpoint right after I've killed those uh, first few boats. And then just rinse and repeat. And the game actually does keep tally of your kills. So even though you restart checkpoint, the game remembers all the kills you got prior to doing that. So they do actually add to your accumula accumulative total. It's really hard to say that word sometimes. But there we go. Drive by! So you just keep restarting checkpoint until you eventually get it. Easy peasy, lemon, let's go with it. So hot potato, this could be done in the only day, or the only easy day was yesterday. So you're gonna get to this part in the level where a chop responds. This is mandatory, it's scripted, it has to happen. Uh, there it is. So what I like to do, uh, I would just sit right here and w wait for the chopper to stop moving, wait till he's like pretty much stationary. And then what I like to do is hold the grenade for exactly four seconds before I throw it. So you can see one, two, three four and then i whip it and there you go uh i find if you follow that uh those time intervals you will get it also the trophies pop late as shit in this game so don't be afraid if the trophy doesn't pop right away you should like give it a few seconds uh because they do have quite a delayed pop here we go headbanger so this trophy was a bitch for me to get but thanks to a U random youtube comment i read uh, you just come to this level, and right after Shepard drops the Danger Close bomb on all his own guys, as you can see, there's tons of guys crawling around on the floor, and uh, you can easily nail them in one shot with a grenade. Uh, bronze Trophy, Claymore. Kill 11 enemies using Claymores and loose ends. This is very easy to do. I, I did it in a really funny way, as you can see. Boom! I would literally run up to enemies and just place a Claymore next to them. Uh, this... You can't really get away with this unless you're on recruit difficulty. Um, if you're on any difficulty higher than that, you're going to get your ass kicked for trying to do this. But uh, you could definitely get away with it on recruit. You start the level with a ton of claymores. So you could just blow all these guys up, as you can see. Um, and then once you breach in this last room here, you can actually refill on your claymores because there's a bunch of claymores in this room. It's a bit of an armory. So uh, you could refill on those. Um... 
And, uh, yeah. And then once you get to the part where you have to defend the data collection thingy, this thing, uh, what I would do for the rest of the map is just run up to guys in the same strat. And you can get way more kills than you need with the amount of claymores that they give you. Uh, you're gonna see I'm gonna kill a ton of guys in this room here. Um, yeah, I got like three in a row there. Like, with one claymore, it was amazing. But, uh, I know, I know I'm amazing. But, uh... Yeah, so there you go, easy trophy, but uh, what I found about this trophy is you can't, it's not like the drive-by trophy, you can't keep restarting checkpoint, because I tried doing that, I restarted checkpoint like 20 times, and uh, the game wouldn't remember the kills that I got before restarting, uh, so I, you have to get the 11 in one shot, like in one take, you can't restart checkpoint in between, which is weird, that's really weird that some trophies let you do that and some don't, but anyways, next one. Look, Ma, two hands. So, uh, if there's, you could get this trophy pretty easily in the Hornet's Nest level, but I chose to do it here because it's, this was the first opportunity where I decided to get it, and it's so easy to get it here. So, um, you can, uh, you unlock, the, if you're wondering what level this is, this is the museum, and you can unlock it by beating the game. Uh, and then you just load it up, you could literally grab the akimbo weapons from off the table, and uh, can easily get 10 enemy kills in a row with it, as you can see. Very easily done. But I'm also covering two trophies here in, uh, in one uh, piece of footage. So the museum also has another trophy. Come on, man. Hurry up and get it. There you go. Good job. But uh, here's the next one. Do not push this button. Silver trophy. So this is also done in the museum. And when, as you can see, when you hit the red button, uh, I'll fucking bajillion enemy spawn trying to kill you, and you have to survive both waves. There's another button in the room just down the hall from where I'm standing, and you have to do both battles, uh, without dying. So, it's pretty rough, because there's a fuck ton of dudes, but, uh, there's some important info I need to tell you guys, which is, when you load up the museum level, you can't select a difficulty. The game will, by force, make you be on whatever difficulty you were last on in whatever mission you played in the story. So, let's say you were just playing your veteran run just before you came in the museum, then the museum by default would be on veteran. So, the museum difficulty will be the same difficulty as whatever you last played. So, what you're going to want to do in order to make this easier, obviously you're going to want to do this on recruit, is uh, load up a level if you're not on recruit difficulty, select recruit difficulty, once you're in the level, save and quit, back out, come into the museum, and you'll be on recruit difficulty. So, that's a little important bit that I thought I should explain. As you can see, uh, this room has a Juggernaut-esque type guy. He takes five trillion years to kill, but we got him. And uh, doing that room with the riot shield, as you can see, that really helped me clear it out. Uh, because taking on that Juggernaut guy without the riot shield... I imagine would be a nightmare so um but yeah as you can see the museum has literally every weapon in the game at your disposal so you have plenty of time to prep for this fight which doesn't make it all that difficult you can definitely be more than prepared for this so that's how i recommend you do it there you go last enemy trophy takes forever to pop there you go done deal next trophy desperado you could do this in the team player mission so, and like most trophies, I would recommend doing literally every trophy on Recruit. Unless it's a veteran-specific trophy. But yeah, so this trophy requires you to kill five enemies in a row using different weapons or attachments. And what's great about this level is almost every single enemy in the level is holding some kind of different weapon from each other. Because you'll notice I pick up a fuck ton of weapons off these guys, and almost every single one of them is different. Which is great. It's a great opportunity to get this trophy. Uh, and also, your knife counts. Because I actually knifed that guy. And as you can see, the trophy is going to pop. So, your knife counts as a separate weapon. Who knew? But yeah, so like you got TMP. You got the Mini Uzi. You got the RPD. You got AK-47s. You got the FAL. You got the uh, uh, match key attachment on the FAL. You got your fucking knife. I imagine your grenade counts as well. So, there is a ton of weapons in this area. Uh, to which you can easily get this trophy, so there you go. Silence, guys! This could be done in Wolverines. Destroy both BTRs without using Predator Drones. 
So at the part where Foley's like, Ramirez, get over and kill that SOB, the guy who's firing the Predator missiles, you come in here, this is where you get the Predator, but don't pick it up. As you can, as you can see, one of these guys I killed was holding an RPG. So I come out with said RPG, but boosh, take that BTR out, you little bitch. And uh, you're going to notice uh, you're out of ammo. So what do you do? You run across the street. You go fill up. Easy. Full ammo. Got four rockets. And then you just go and uh, hunt down that last BTR. And uh, I would highly recommend, as always, doing this on recruit because the BTRs will kill you in like one second otherwise. And as you can see, the RPGs are notorious for having bad aim. So it's very easy to miss with this thing. So just be careful about that. But there you go. Killed both. By the time I got to the diner, the trophy popped. And there you have it. Silence, guys! Uh, clown in training! Snipe the three secret clowns hidden in SSDD. Now, this is the first level in the game. Once you get Foley's bullshit tutorial mission out of the way, you'll be able to free roam in the training camp. And you'll notice on the right here, there's going to be a Barrett 50 cal sniper with exactly three bullets in it. So, uh, there are three clowns in this level, so if you miss, uh, you're fucked! So don't miss! So, first clown is gonna be just out over in the horizon there, from where you pick up the sniper, there you go. They're pretty easy to spot once you scope in. But there you go, we're gonna run across the base now and go over to that lookout tower, just adjacent from where we were, and you're gonna find your next clown. This was, uh, one of the trophies added to the game, this wasn't in the original. Which was, I mean, pretty silly. Killing clowns. Hey, hey, we get to kill clowns! It's funny! Because they're clowns. Oh, they, if you were killing anyone else, it wouldn't be funny, dude. Because it's clowns. It gives you every right to laugh. I mean, come on. I know violence is wrong, but clowns make everything funny, so. Anyways, last one. Uh, run over to where the, uh, where you run the circuit, or the pit. There you go. Uh, you could come over here, where this little lookout station is. Scope in, look for your last clown. He's out there. Trust me. Boom! There goes the last clown, and we're good. So that's all three. Wait for a bit. Trophy pops. Like I said, trophies take forever to pop, so just be patient. They will pop. Don't worry. Next one. The student surpasses the master. Beat BX time in SSDD. Now, this is going to take a fuck ton of practice. You are going to be working at this for quite a while, depending on how good you are at Call of Duty. Uh, this is going to take a lot of practice. Like I said, I'm being repetitive now, but it's true. I was doing this for probably 30 minutes uh, before I finally got my winning attempt. But I'm showing you one... one. Uh, this is my winning attempt right now. You're watching it. And then I'm going to show you it again in slow-mo just to carefully analyze it. But there you go. Uh, like I said, this is going to take you a while. It's the second hardest trophy in the game next to beating the game on Veteran. But, uh, as you can see, there's the trophy, so we got it. But, um, I, now I'm going to show you in slow-mo. So what you really want to concentrate on doing here is being very efficient. I recommend you take both the shitty handguns, the, uh, the one I'm using now and the USB, or USP, sorry. Uh, this isn't a storage drive, man. But uh, what you really are going to want to do is try practicing taking out multiple enemies in one shot. Like, as you can see, every opportunity where I have two enemies line up, I always take the time to down them both in one bullet because it just saves you time. So I would practice doing that. But also, there's a little bit of luck involved with this trophy because every time you go through it, um, the, the moving targets, like, for example, these two... That guy in the back on the against the wall, he's not always lined up when you get to that part. So there's a little bit of luck involved as well, because you can't always take out uh, both enemies in one shot, because they're, they won't always line up for you. So it, it, it's really pain in the ass, but I, as you can see, my trophy did unlock from doing this attempt, so I there's the video proof right there that I did it, and it's possible. 1990, I swear it was to get under 19 or exactly 19 but i was over 19 so i don't know why the trophy popped but it did dang trophy pop intensifies there but there you go that's how you do it it's it's gonna take a lot of practice but i wish you guys the best of luck no rest for the weary you could do this in cliff herring or uh knife an enemy without him ever knowing you were there so i find this is the best level to do this uh i had a lot of trouble getting this trophy in general 
because there's a lot of times where you knife an enemy and it puts you into this forceful like uh dynamic cinematic where you kill the guy and make it look amazing but you need to actually just knife a guy and have him never know but uh i find it's very easy to do it in the blizzard because it's very hard for the enemies to detect you in the blizzard but here we go colonel sanderson so this is in hornet's nest we're gonna kill seven chickens in under 10 seconds as you can see, what I chose to do was just whip a ton of grenades, kill a fuck ton of chickens. And then, once you throw all those grenades, just go ham. Start shooting all the cages. Um, the grenades are really finicky. They don't always... As you can see, I threw a grenade back there, and those chickens were still alive. Uh, that happens a lot. Uh, this took me a few tries to get it, but... Um, yeah, just, just, just be aware of that. Like, a grenade won't always kill the chickens, so you're gonna wanna, like, take a look. Hey, look, it's footage from my live stream. Yay! Angel Savior. So you could get this in uh, contingency. So all you need to do here is uh, Price is going to be like, uh, fucking Roach, take take out your Predator drone. But before he even says this, you're going to want to just slide down the hill as fast as possible. I did it very slow here, and I still somehow got the trophy. But you could do that way faster than me. Uh, don't even pull out the Predator drone. Just fucking slide down the hill. And then what will happen is your guys will take out the SAM site, so they won't be able to destroy your Predator drone. As you can see, I kept looking up the sky, it's still there, it's still alive, uh, and then I accidentally shot my guys. RIP. RIP! You, Matt, you dumb fuck, how can you not tell? All army guys look completely different, as everyone will tell you. There's no way you could possibly mistake your own guys for enemies, that's impossible. Precognitive Paranoia. Kill Shepard. This could be very easily done in SSDD uh, as he shows up in the pit. And I wanted to take him out in style, so I went ahead and ran across the map to go grab the Barret so that I could let him know. Boom! And there you go. Easy peasy. Easy trophy. Yeah, and it's funny, too. That was also added to the remaster. That wasn't in the original. Because I don't think he was standing there in the original. But maybe he was. I don't know. Uh, target confirmed. This could be done in Exodus. Uh, instruct the Honey Badger to kill 80 enemies. Now, this trophy is super fucking tedious. And it's going to take a while. Um, it probably took me like 15 minutes or so. Or something like that. But uh, you, the, the whole key element here, the headline is just take your sweet fucking time. Have the Honey Badger attack every house like three, four times each. Like, just keep instructing him to attack houses. And eventually, you will build up 80 kills. By the time you get to this point, as you can see, I got it. So, just use that as a guideline and take your time with it. Bird Hunter. This could be done in of their own accord to destroy 10 choppers using the Javelin Launcher. Um, this trophy... Yeah, this trophy gave me a lot of fucking trouble. I must have attempted this like five times minimum. But, uh... The reason why it gave me so much trouble is because it's very easy to let one of these choppers get away. And there is exactly 10. There's exactly 10 uh, choppers here. And you only have exactly enough time to take out 10. No more, no less. So, uh, you're gonna really want to make sure you don't fucking miss one. And as you can see, I often would aim behind me to see them through the buildings and uh, not let those ones get away and they definitely will get away if you don't shoot them so uh, that's why this took me so many attempts because i just kept fucking missing one but um eventually this this was my winning attempt here i did get it and like i said there is exactly enough choppers so if you miss one you're fucked and what's really annoying about this uh trophy is that you, you can't restart checkpoint exploit so if you kill like three choppers get to a checkpoint and then restart checkpoint those three you got don't count. You have to get all ten in one sitting. So, uh, that's why this trophy was a bit of a bitch. But, um, finally ended up getting it. The trophy popped as I was on my way up the stairs. I was very thankful for that. But there we go. Next one, Ghost. This could be done in Cliffhanger. Plant the C4 in Cliffhanger without alerting or injuring anyone in the blizzard. Now, this also took me a few tries. I... My biggest recommendation to you guys is to just take it slow. There's no reason to rush, um, because there's a lot of enemies walking around, mainly in this beginning part of the blizzard. As you can see, there's a ton of heartbeats on my heartbeat sensor. So I just waited for it to kind of clear up um, before I actually walked forward. And uh, 
I waited till everyone was like out of the way or looking in another direction. Because if you just uh, if you just walk through like without waiting, your ass will get spotted every single time. That's what happened to me like three times in a row before I actually got my winning attempt. But uh, once you get to this part, you're pretty much in the clear. You can still fuck it up, but there's way less enemies to worry about once you get to this part. So you just have this dickhead in front of you, but if you just walk down the hill a little bit, he won't even spot you. Uh, it's very hard for the enemy AI to spot you in the blizzard, which is, again, why it's so good to get that other knife trophy. Now, as you can see, uh, I also included my fuck up here because I wanted to show you that even if you restart checkpoint, uh, you could still get the trophy. So, that w I walked across the street too early and the car spotted me, and then I hit restart checkpoint, and then I do the second half, and it still counts. So, even if you restart checkpoint during your attempt... You could still get the trophy, which is pretty fucking nice, because it, it allows a... Yeah, you have a little bit of room for error there. Now, that also depends on when you checkpoint, because you could you could get spotted, and then have the game checkpoint right after you get spotted. So then, if you restart checkpoint, your ass is spotted, and there's nothing you could do. You can't take it back, so you would have to restart the whole fucking level, and then watch the entire beginning intro sequence with you climbing up the ice, which is incredibly infuriating, but, uh... Yeah, you can tell I did this a few times, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, just, uh, take your time with it, you can restart checkpoint, as you can see, there we go, that was also the last trophy I needed, because you'll see I get my platinum right off, <laughs> there we go, nice, we got the platinum preemptively, I haven't even covered all the trophies yet, the real gun game, so I highly recommend doing this trophy in second, son, now, the reason why this level is so good for this trophy is because it's it's probably the shortest level in the game and there's very few enemies it does not take long to get through this level and it's very um you know not difficult because there's so few enemies but uh so i i thought this was the perfect level to get this now i showed this part here because uh at this part your gun automatically refills its ammo now that doesn't count as reloading Unless you you actually have the animation of you reloading, like, physically happen, then it doesn't count as a reload. So, even if Foley, like, gives you ammo at that part, like, don't worry, it doesn't ruin it. So, as you can see, I'm still gonna get the trophy. I'll show you by the end of it. But there's a ton of different weapons in here, and that's basically how I would recommend doing it. Each time you kill an enemy, you'll want to, uh, essentially take his gun, kill the next guy, move along, and then rinse and repeat take his gun kill the next guy with it take his gun kill the next guy you know you get the gist of it but um that's how i'd recommend doing this and uh those there's only these two major gunfights uh the, these parts coming up here there's not a lot of guys so it's very easy to get through it um i switched to this m4 with the iron sights because um your red dot sight doesn't work in this level and the gun you start with has a red dot sight and it just makes it a little harder to aim so i ditch that shit right away but there you go that's it the level is extremely short and uh once i beat it got my trophy uh so just don't reload don't melee and you got this now next up immortal this was one of the brand new trophies added to the game complete every mission without dying or reloading to a checkpoint on any difficulty now this trophy is slightly misleading you don't have to play the game start to finish in one sitting. You do not have to do that. All you have to do is have gotten through every mission without dying or reloading checkpoint at some point. So you could you could literally do it in whatever fucking order you want. You could play Hornet's Nest, get through the whole level on Recruit, not die or reload checkpoint, and then when you finish that level, go back to Mission Select and do fucking uh, one of the previous levels like wolverines and uh and and then do that without dying or reloading checkpoint and like you'll be fine so as long as you do every level in the game without reloading or uh dying uh it doesn't matter what order and there you go it's very easy you could do every single mission on recruit and by the time you get to the credits your trophy will pop so there you go uh it's very straightforward it just takes a while and it's pretty tedious but uh, it will require a minimum of two playthroughs, unfortunately. But there you go! Now, regarding veteran difficulty, obviously there's only so much I can tell you guys to help you overcome this challenging difficulty. 
that being said, I figured it would be better to actually show you guys how to pull it off, so for that sake, I recorded a complete playthrough of my run through Veteran Difficulty, and if you guys want to follow along, get some tips and tricks along the way, then there will be a link to my playthrough in the description if you want to check that out, so feel free, but if not, then best of luck to you guys on your Veteran run, because Veteran's a bitch! And that is going to be every trophy in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. The support goes a long way, but before we end the video, I'm going to rate this bitch. So I'm going to give Modern Warfare 2 Remastered a 7 out of 10. It's definitely not the hardest Platinum to get in the world, but Veteran Mode is really challenging. Not to mention beating BX's time in SSDD uh, in the pit. Those are by far the hardest things to do in the game. And if you're not skilled enough to overcome those trials, then you'll be gatekeeped from your Platinum. So it is very much a skill-based trophy list. So I think a 7 out of 10 is pretty fitting. But anyways, guys, that's it for my rating. Best of luck to you guys to get the Platinum. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Take care. And I will definitely see you in the next one. So have a good one.